back. Um, I know we're looking a little rough right now, but I was just so excited to find these that I had to film. Um, so I threw on this Boss Rambler Beer Club Captain hat from Bend, Oregon, and a little Seahawk Nike hoodie, and we gonna do this. I think you know my love, and I just did my nails, guys. I mean, come on, winning. But I think you know my love for, I mean, I'm not gonna say all spike seltzer, but seltzer and vodka, those type of things. I think I told you that years and years and years and years ago, um, I was sipping down uh, LaCroix and then adding vodka in there and then taking it to go on the max and such. Um, and I should have trademarked it back then, but it's whatevs. I am excited to try these now. And I feel that I'm dubbing myself as a connoisseur of said spiked beverages, spiked seltzers. So we're here. We got a little different view. This is my makeshift, um, what do you call these? Um, pantries, right? Uh, got a beer fridge here. My Kirkland uh, alcohol, hard alcohol over there. And then my lovely rack from Amazon. So my love of Costco has just, hopefully it's exponentially doubled, tripled, whatever. But let me see if I can hold all these. I can't. We found the hard seltzers from Kirkland, guys. We found them. They're here. We're going to try them first. I'm going to tell you if they're even worth your monies. Let's go. So a couple things about these. Gluten-free, 5% alcohol by volume, uh, which is that, that is more than a San Juan seltzer, actually. Interesting, 100 calories a can. Uh, spiked sparkling water with black cherry flavors and other natural flavors. It comes in black cherry, mango, lime, grapefruit. Let's see, no juice, 10 mgs of sodium, two carbohydrates, two total sugars, no protein, What pure carbonated water, alcohol, cane sugar, natural flavors. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, interesting. This is brewed by Patco Brands, which is in Hood River, Oregon. So that's interesting. I want to know if this is like, remember when we went to San Juan Seltzer? <clears throat> And they're actually brewing their own seltzers instead of like having that green alcohol taste. So I want to know if how this is done, but obviously I don't have any of them here to answer these questions. So I can only compare to San Juan Seltzer, which is my absolute favorite. Um, I think my friend Maddie was commenting how I'm a super fan and I'm like, where's my cape at? My San Juan Seltzer cape. Anyways, I think you know my love if you follow me on Instagram or if you have watched any of my YouTube videos, you'll know. I don't know which one to start. So I'm, let's just start here. Grapefruit. These are 12 fluid ounces. So they are a skinny can. They're very fizzy. Smells, smells very grapefruity. That's promising. Uh oh. That's good. That is good. You can't taste. So, you know how, like, if you've had a <laughs> really anything with grain alcohol in it, you could taste that there's grain alcohol in it. I can't, you don't, I'm not getting that from here. And if I had more time, I would probably look and see how this is made alcoholic, but I was just that excited that we're not there. So we're just tasting it. If you know, let me know. This is really good though. If you have had a LaCroix grapefruit, um, what other ones would this be similar? It's a little bit sweeter than a LaCroix. Oh, a sparkling ice. Has anyone ever had one of those? Sparkling ice, those like zero calorie, whatever drinks, no sugars. That's what this tastes like. It's a little sweet. The flavor is good, guys. The flavor is really good. I like that. 
I like that. Okay, we're moving on. Lime, classic, classic, classic. Probably one of my go-to, I always feel like it's going to like erupt on my face and I really don't know why. Um, one of my go-to LaCroix flavors is definitely lime when I'm doing my thing. So cheers. Oh, I should smell first. Uh, artificial lime flavor smell. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It very much tastes like a lime otter pop. It is sweet. That's probably actually um, one of the big differences between this and say a San Juan seltzer is that these are sweet and San Juan seltzer has its own unique sweetness to it, but it's also more sweet flavorful, not like actual sweet, but you're getting more flavor because of the flavor. Does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. That might make sense but these are like sweet, sweet. Literally, it tastes like an Otter Pop, a melted cold Otter Pop. It's good though. It's very good. It's not overly sweet. I like the amount of fizziness to it. Um, like I said, there's not that grain alcohol horribleness in there. Mongo. I wonder if this one would be good with, um, again, I don't know why, uh, with some tahini in it. And maybe if I had like a sauce rim or something, drinking this with some pico rico would be amazing. I would only assume because it's mango, but let's try it. Again, the smell of these are very artificial. So if you're going based on just smell, I would be like, I don't want them, but then you taste them and it's kind of a whole nother ball game. So, um, I really don't like the smell of this one. It smells very artificial. Uh, that horrible. Okay. Let's not say horrible, Nicole. Um, that, okay. High chews, the candy, the, the chewy candy that I absolutely adore. The great flavor. There's an apple flavor. That's really good. This smells like the mango one of that, whereas you eat that mango high chew and it's ridiculously artificial mango flavor. And that's what this smells like. So let's see though. Again, I'm wrong. The smell is not good. The taste, however, is very good, especially if you like mango. Again, it's not, it is sweet, but it's not pucker, I'm gonna be sick sweet. It's very, it's like the essence of mango, the essence of lime, the essence of grapefruit. Very good. It would even be good if you added some vodka in here. I think it would be absolutely delicious if, there was some chili component to this, which we might have to dabble in a little later, but. I like it, guys. I'm shocked. I am sad that there is um, carbs in it. I'm gonna, hold on. Yeah, there is no carbs in this San Juan guy, and you know how I feel about them. No carbs, less calories, but we'll get to that in a second. So the mango is good. I'm trying to like uh, figure out how I'm going to rank all of these. You remember we're burping now on this channel, but excuse me, and I love you guys. Okay. 
And again, you pop the can and you're instantly smelling that artificial flavor. And it's not good. It's kind of like Lou Crooks. It's kind of like when you're putting the Splenda packets in the coffee cup and you get this poof of artificial sweetener smell in your nose. Or when your friend Lauren comes up and gives you that Splenda bomb right there. Um, it's kind of like that where it you smell and you're like, oh God, that is completely artificial and I don't like it. But then you taste it and it's completely different. So black cherry, I saved this for last. I Here's the thing. I don't like cherry flavored anything really. I don't like cherry flavored candy. Uh, popsicles, not really. Anything like that. I like real cherries just fine. However, I like black cherry seltzers. The sparkling ice black cherry, the Desani black cherry is delicious. I am down for those. It's probably actually my go-to pick of those things. So that's why I say this one for last. Again, it smells absolutely artificial. Oh God. And medicinal, like I'm about to take, uh, what is that? Triminic? I'm like instantly having a little PTSD from when my mom would make me take some medicine and I would always have to just wait. So when you're taking, what is that stuff? NyQuil or anything like that. I literally, and to this day, I still have to do it. I know that it will work immediately as soon as I get it into my body, especially if I'm taking a liquid form. However, I have to work myself up to it. So I will pour it and I have to just sit here for a good five minutes or something until I'm ready to do it. And then I do that. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here is that kind of like in my stomach. But yet all the others have turned out great. So let's just go for it. message nope this is gross my least favorite oh let me just chase it with something here Okay, the black cherry is trash. Oh God, it does have that medicinal quality to it. Don't likey. If you're a hardcore black cherry fan, if you're one of the few people that really like NyQuil or any of those other viscous, gross cough syrups, this is your jam, go for this. However, as a whole, and I think you get 24 cans for like, what was it, $17.99? I wish I had my receipt with me. That's a smoking deal. It is a smoking deal. However, here's where we do pros and cons. However, if you want to try something amazing, all natural, very low, low calories, no carbs whatsoever, no sugars, you're going to go with this. Is this a good option? 100%. I am very impressed and surprised by this, is this the higher quality and what I would go for 100%, hands down. I literally just refilled my refrigerator in the garage. This you can also get on sale most all the time. I actually had some variety packs were on sale and you get 12 in a variety pack for $14, $14.99, that's a steal. However, if you're having a party, excuse me, and you're having people who are watching their carbs, like myself, this is a great option. This is really good. Again, you're getting one in four of them for $18 plus tax if you live in uh, Washington, like I do. But a great option. These are very good. I would probably choose to put a shot or two or whatever a vodka in here to kind of lessen the sweetness value, but that's just my own preference and that's just because I don't really care for the sweet drinks. But this is good. This is good. I am, I'm, I'm surprised at this. Mm. 
mango and lime, that's good. Grapefruit, really good as well. Mmm. Actually, you know what you could do with this? You could make greyhounds with this one because it is a little bit sweeter. So, and you would want the alcohol to kind of dull down that sweetness. So I would suggest doing this with vodka. You can even do it with gin. That would be delicious. Oh, this would with gin too. The lime, that would be good. This is not my favorite. I don't, I would take another drink, but I, I just don't. I'm, I'm going to have to give this to someone. Um, the others I will gladly stock in my fridge and probably make my friends try them just so that they can see but as a whole these are really good i am very happily surprised by them i'm not gonna lie if i had to choose i would definitely choose san juan seltzer though over them because of the flavor content and the no carbs and everything else but this is a really 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 good option for you guys and again you can find it at costco um, I'm surprised that it's uh, made in Hood River too, actually. I'm gonna have to look that up, but give these a try. It's worth a shot and uh, let me know what you think. If you try these, if you know other seltzers that I should try, I've tried the Bud Light, that's trash. The Corona ones are really sweet. Uh, but yeah, I also have some Pepsi ones that Phil gave me that we'll be trying on another video, but uh, check these out, Kirkland Signature ones, the hard seltzer. I found mine right here in Yakima, and happy seltzering, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.